Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the garden. Today's video is going to be kind of a mishmash um, as these usually are, but my first objective is going to be to talk about some affordable ways to do vertical gardening. I know when I first started gardening, when I was looking at pictures online of the ways that I wanted my garden to look, I was always struck by photos of these gorgeous gardens with beautiful archways. Um, really just the vertical garden spaces were what made the most visual impact for me so I wanted to replicate that in my own space but when I look at the hardware store at the garden store um, at those actual arch trellises and other vertical apparatuses um, they were just out of my price range and so I had to spend some time brainstorming some ways to replicate that affordably and so I wanted to show you all just some different ways that you can garden up to save space and to create that beautiful visual impact and also just to support your plants that are vining and need support, right? These are just some ways that we have accomplished vertical gardening in an affordable way and I hope you enjoy. So the first trellis idea, we'll just clear the air here and get it out of the way, is this big arch that we have over our walkways and we have a few of them on our hillside. These are cattle panel arches. Now if you live somewhere that has a farm store, then you can find actual cattle panels or hog panels, some people call them. But if you live somewhere urban, like I do, you can actually replicate something like this from Home Depot. They sell these three and a half foot by seven foot mesh mats in the masonry section. You You'll just get a few of these and then you can connect them using zip ties so you could just connect the pieces together and then you can trim off the bottom horizontal slats and it will turn the bottoms into little stakes and then you can stick those down into the ground and you have a beautiful arch Another um, way that you can make an arch that's even less expensive is to use ladder mesh, which you can get also in the masonry section. This is just over $4 for a 10 foot piece. It's quite a bit more narrow than um, obviously the mesh mat is, but it makes for a great arch. I'm gonna be using these this year to grow my cucumbers on, and I'm just buying three pieces, and I'm gonna stake them into the ground using some rebar, just some two foot pieces of rebar, and I just sort of weave it through the ladder mesh and hammer it into the ground, and then I have you know a four and a half foot arch, which is perfect height for growing cucumbers over and for being able to reach all of the fruit as it hangs down. So. It looks cool and it's very, very cheap. My next set of ideas are to look around at what you have on hand and try to turn those items into vertical growing spaces. So for instance, you can grow on a tree or if you have an existing fence around, you can grow along the fence. This is one way we used a privacy fence to turn it into a vertical trellis. We just screwed a few um, like two and a half inch screws into the privacy fence, obviously leaving them sticking out quite a bit. And then we took regular hardware wire and wrapped it around the screws and then we grew this passion vine along it. Another thing that we did was we upcycled these old baby gates that we no longer needed. They're the perfect little trellising material. It was free because it's something that we had on hand and we just staked them in the ground and put our mint and blueberries and things next to it and um, they're using it for support.
Another thing that I do for growing some of my vertical crops that need support, especially tomatoes, is I get these really inexpensive pieces of three quarter inch or one inch PVC pipe. I use these little L-shaped connectors and I cut the piece of pipe into thirds and then I just use two, obviously for the supports, and then use the L-shaped connectors to make a bar going across the top. This is an awesome way to trellis indeterminate tomatoes because you can hang a string off of this top bar, tie it onto your tomato plant and then just train the vine up the string as you grow and it's so easy so cheap and simple and if you want to make it look more fancy you can paint the poles you know a fun color or even just green so they sort of blend into the background This is another trellising system that we set up for our grapes. Now bear in mind that this has been in place for three years and it needs a bit of maintenance, but so far it's been holding up pretty good for us. The way that we did this is we bought these four x four posts, which were also a lot less expensive um, a few years ago, but they're still not too bad, especially if you're not going super tall. Then um, we just screwed in some eye hooks into these about a foot or so apart. And then on the eye hooks, we used standard metal wire and just wrapped it through the eye hooks on each end of the post. And like I said, this has been holding strong for us for three years. I think next year we will rework the way that we're growing the grapes here, but this was inexpensive and it's held up and um, it's a super easy trellising system to put in place. I also wanted to show you an inexpensive way that you could make the wire mesh look a little more finished off. My husband knows how to weld, so if you have a friend that knows how to weld, you can once again buy this inexpensive wire mesh and then just weld it between a few pieces of metal and it will look like a finished fence panel. So we took ours and we made it a part of our fence and we are trying to grow some blackberries and passion vines through it as well. It's just not taken off yet. But you can see um, this is an idea for making it look a little more refined as opposed to just exposed wire. <laughs> this work day and for this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, could you please give this video a thumbs up or share it with other gardeners in your lives? It really helps me out with YouTube and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.